Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you a little project uh, I've been working on. Um, I'm building a sort of, well, it's not sort of, it is an Arduino, uh, yeah, an Arduino based um, synthesizer. A uh, synthesizer is a musical instrument that's used to create music by choosing waveforms and then slightly tweaking those waveforms in different ways. So what I've got here is um, the basic setup. Uh, this is just the first bit. This is the bit that generates the waveforms and so I've got two switches here which select between the two different oscillators I've set up and I've got a speaker only one of them is hooked up so if I go ahead and plug this in there we go hopefully there we go oh it's the speaker okay I'm hoping that's loud enough for you to oh, spare bottle hoping that's loud enough for you to hear so um let me cover that for a second. Uh, this is a pure sine wave. Um, that's a triangle. That's a saw. I've got two different kinds of saws. That's a, One was a left saw, the other one's a right saw. That's a square wave. Uh, and then I've got a flat. And then there's a different mode, which I'll talk to you in a moment. Um, so I can take a basic sine wave. I can take a basic sine wave, cover that and then mix in another sine wave, a triangle wave, it's a little hard to hear, a sawtooth with a sine wave, a triangle with a sine wave, two saw waves, a saw and a square, two squares, and you can do that. Um, this thing does need a little bit of work. I'm trying to design a filter which will hopefully get rid of some of the noise as uh, the creation method on this, which I'll talk about when I show you the code. Um, to generate the waveform, it's actually created by a PWM signal through a method called DDS, which again I'll talk about when I show you the code. And it's actually surprisingly simple, it just takes a filter to remove the carrier wave. But uh, one of the cool things I found was, if I turn this back on, there we go. I was trying to figure out when I was writing the code to make a good um, noise generation. And I guess this is a bit of a tangent, but two, three, four, five. Come on. There's a setting right after flat, which I where I don't define the um, waveform, and then I go to add another one from the second oscillator. Oh. There it is, and I get noise, and it's actually really well defined, an interesting noise, which I'm really happy about. It was formed by a complete accident. Not cover that up because it's annoying. I'll just unplug this. So that noise was a complete accident, I, I'll talk about how that came about in the code, but again, completely happy accident. So this is just the first part of the project. I'm going to be adding on a bit more with um, different filters uh, and an ADSR envelope and a MIDI controller as well. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you the code as to how this setup works. Okay, so the important bit is this down a little too far, this right here. Uh, I'd mentioned it's ba this technique is based around PWM. This technique is called DDS, um, Direct Digital Synthesis. Uh, well, before I mention that, I should probably say that this code is, uh, most of it comes from Interface 3. Uh, I, I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's one of their really cool projects that someone did, so... Uh, I took that, modified it quite heavily at this point, and so yeah, I suggest you take a look at some of the stuff they do. Uh, if you want to do some of your own DDS stuff, if you want to generate any sort of waveform, this is a really great and simple code to do it. It requires almost no extra parts, so you don't have to go out and get like a DAC or anything. Nice and simple. So yeah, anyway, uh, DDS, what is it? DDS is taking a PWM signal and then modulating the duty cycle in accordance to a particular wave table. In this case, I've got a bunch of tables up here. So I've got one for a sine wave, one for a triangle, left saw, right saw, and a square wave. And the way it works is every time that interrupt occurs, that generates a, um, uh, that's the basic, it's set up to do PWM output. Uh, it's based around the AVR 
architecture. It's pretty low-level stuff, so a little more complicated than your basic Arduino. So every time that interrupt occurs, it sets the duty cycle to one of these values. So it'll set it to 127, then 130. So it's increasing the duty cycle, and then it gets it up to 255, and then it decreases the duty cycle, and like a sine wave. And so sine waves punched in here. Um, the website has sine wave. I had to make the triangle wave, the saws, and the square wave. But when you do that, and you pass it through a low-pass filter, which removes the sampling frequency the produced by not that this update. This updates every th uh, I think this updates 32 on a 32 kilohertz cycle. So that removes that carrier wave. And what you're left with is just the wave you've programmed in through the DDS. So that's pretty much how it works. There's some pretty complicated math a lot of bit shifting and stuff to make the value you're writing the appropriate value. But other than that, it's pretty simple. It's very well documented. A lot of good comments. It's really it's really cool, and I'm really happy with how it sounds. Oh, uh, I mentioned how I got the noise. I, well, I mentioned noise. There are six cases for the two oscillators. I've got two oscillators programmed in. The first one's the main oscillator, and the second one you have mixed into the first. So there's the sine wave, the triangle wave, the left saw, the right saw, the square, the flat, and the noise. I didn't have flat at the time, so this wasn't there. And what I found was, because I don't define this value, it's it doesn't work appropriately and so when I mix in another value it gets weird and I think the subtraction also has something to do with it it's being a negative value and wrapping around I don't know the fact is it makes a cool noise and I'm very happy with how that turned out and I'm actually pretty happy with this very uh, the start of how this turned out so yeah I'm hoping to add more to it as the summer goes along so I'll update you as it comes along until then, uh, I'm Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.